After three defeats in a row with at least three first teamers out injured, it's not the time you want to see the league leaders heading your way, but that's the challenge that faces the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats this afternoon with the Wigan Warriors in town. The Wildcats have to make five changes, but one of them does see new signing Talima Tortai come back into the side. So the lineup today will read Richie Mathers at fullback on the wings, Peter Fox and Ben Cocaine, with Dean Collis and Reese Lynn at centres. Lee Smith is the standoff. Kyle Wood comes in for the injured Tim Smith at scrum half. Up front is Justin Poor and Ollie Wilkes in the place of Andy Raleigh and Matty Wieldy comes in at hooker in place of Paul Ayton. Danny Kermont is on the second row despite his injury suffered at the Etihad. Lucas Walshaw joins him today in the absence of Ali Lawatiti and there's no Danny Washbrook at loose forward because that's where the new signing Talima Tortai will come in. On the bench, John Molloy, Danny Washbrook, Kyle Amor and Chris Anakin. For the uh, Wigan Warriors, Sam Tompkins is at fullback, chasing the record consecutive try scoring in games. On the wings, Josh Charnley and Pat Richards, with Ian Thornley and Daryl Goulding at centres. Sam Powell is a standoff today with Matty Smith at scrum half. Up front, there's Ben Flower and Lee Mossop, and Michael McAlora makes his 150th appearance at hooker. Har Harrison Hansen is on the second row alongside Liam Farrell, and Greg Burke completes the lineup at loose forward. On the bench, Rodri Lloyd, Chris Chewson, Scott Taylor, and Logan Tompkins, and the referee is Thierry Alibert. So Pat Richards then will get us underway, kicks one off deep, and the Wildcats will start off with Lee Smith, and Ollie Wilkes drives in first time on. Wigan there in numbers to meet him, a couple of metres short of the line. Smith comes back left to Powell, and for Tompkins, tries to step back inside, gets away from three or four, still heading across field, Sam Tompkins gets the ball away, McLaurin finds Goulding, Goulding somehow gets it away to Charnley, and can Charnley get it in the corner, he can, just had enough space to get over. And finally gets back to his feet, ball out onto that far side for Smith, Smith on for Tompkins, it's whipped out towards Charnley, and Charnley's going to score again in the corner, and he has. Second try for Josh Charnley, within the... Early taps, Walshaw will take it forward. And eventually he's dropped five metres from the line. Comes up towards Wood. Wood for Kyle Amor. Marcats fans back into it. Wigan leading by 10 to nil. There goes Wood. Wood on for Mathers. Mathers for Collis. Collis, can he get over? He maybe can't. He's stretched out. And has he got the score? Yes, he has. Great effort out wide from Dean Collis. He just managed to stretch out and get the score. Kyle Amor again trying to buy the penalty. Referee this time not interested. Kyle Wood dummies inside and threatens to get away for a moment or two. Will it for Lee Smith? Lee Smith dummies a couple of times across the line all the way to Dean Collis. Has to step inside the first tackler, but he's brought down early. Off comes Anakin, and straighten up into the line. Only gets in towards 10 metres. Last tackle for Wakefield. They'll go short side. Mathers for Kermond, and Danny Kermond will go over for the score. The captain does it again. Collison Kermond, the scorer so far. And a great little break from Danny Kermond, spotting half a yard of the gap. Lauren waits again, all the way to Smith this time, Smith out of the back for Tompkins, Tompkins out of the back door for Goulding, Goulding on for Charlie, can he get in for his hat-trick, no Wakefield had recovered this time, and they'll drive him back will they, they'll drive him over the line, Wigan players having a word with the referee, Sam Tompkins in there straight away for the discussion, the Wakefield fans really getting into it now as you'd expect and the players responding to that it's the players really who've raised the temperature nobody needed raising too much this afternoon Carl Wood gets the space Wood's got a gap he's got Washbrook inside Wood's gonna go and Wood will score in the corner great little break from Carl Wood spotted the window spotted the window was open but off he went threw it like a shot and into the corner for the score that should ensure that the Wildcats head in to the break in the lead. They seem to be pointing at Michael Oram for something that happened in the uh, tackle. Smith will thump it out of play on this near side. The 
Wildcats will have one play. Smith will go for the one pointer from distance. They think he's got it. They think he's got it, and he has got it. Fabulous stuff from Wakefield. And that's got them in. They bound off the field, the Wildcats players. The one right on half time. Here they come though with Farrell looking for an early response. Try and reinsert themselves back in this game, the Warriors. In the first few seconds of this second half. On the angle for Tewson, but he's stopped on the 10 on the last tackle. Tompkins goes a dummy half, short pass for Hansen. Hansen spins away and puts it over for the score. Matthew Wilde taps and finds Wood. Wood on for Ollie Wilkes. Wilkes. Can't find a space this time. And doing there again. Wood ever puts. Come on! Come on on the gap! Come on through! And come on under the post for the four points. Stepped inside the first tackle. And all of a sudden the defensive line parted in front of the Wakefield captain and Danny Kermond able to go over untouched for the four points. Logan Tompkins comes in at dummy half, goes right this time. Smith has to reach across to get it, it's got away to Charnley. Charnley's going for the corner. And has he managed to get in? Yes he has, Josh Charnley managed to get under the tackle of Lucas Walshaw and gets his hat-trick and drags him back to the floor unceremoniously dumped five metres from the line up comes Mossop they've got men over here Smith can get it away Hansen will try and come back inside on the angle but he's finds four Wakefield men waiting for him still tackles to spares Mossop picks it up and Mossop will spin over for the try and Lee Mossop puts Wigan back in front and the celebrations show how much they've had to put in in this second half Wigan off now Try and get another score on the board. And Sam Tompkins has six minutes still to try and get his record. There's going to be a penalty here. Justin Poor having a word with the referee. As Richards finally steps up, puts it high and puts it over. And the penalty makes it a two-score game again. And the referee says it's all sorted and Wigan can play on. Michael Oren finds Smith, Smith on again, looking for Goulding, Goulding trying to get over himself, has he managed to get over and keep Walshaw off, I think he has, yes he has, and Daryl Goulding will close out the game, just had enough to get over the line in the end, the game will wind down to a rather leisurely end in the end, as the Hooter sounds, and Wigan take away the two points, but they take it away only after a very, very hard battle. They've won here, final score, Whitfield 22, Wildcats 23, Wigan Warriors 36.